Leave it up to the Daily Mail to push this headline on local election day. The day that Rwanda became a reality. But they're not being completely honest as they admit here that the government have managed to actually send the first person to Rwanda. But that person volunteered and got paid around £3,000. As commentators have expressed, this might even encourage migrants to head to Britain to get that payment. Anyway, it's obvious the Rwanda gimmick has been pushed to get it achieved for the local elections and dutifully the Daily Mail has stepped forward to do their bit and splash it all over their front cover. My question is, who will fall for this? And to be more precise, what person who was in two minds of which party to vote for will be swayed by this kind of horseshit? Let's hope that people have got more sense than to be conned by this overexpensive, ridiculous, inhumane gimmick. Click here to see how our money was further wasted by this government on useless PPE.